The mostly automated tempo handling I described in the last video is dependent on certain settings in the Logic project. In particular, there's a setting called Flex and Follow with several options in the Region Inspector, which determines when and how Logic will conform audio regions to the project tempo. This setting replaces a simpler Flex On Off option in previous versions. Now, if you were working in Keep mode, If at some point you wanted to make an audio region conform to project tempo, you'd have to manually enable Flex on that track, and then turn the Flex and Follow setting from its default setting of Off to On, or one of the other active options. More on them in a minute. The fully automatic tempo handling described in the last clip is dependent on having both Flex Time and the Flex and Follow setting enabled for all regions. Fortunately, since this is a project setting, you can create a template that will automatically analyze and apply the Flex and Follow functionality to imported and edited regions when necessary to always keep them in sync with the project tempo. There are two ways to do this. With no region selected, you could open the Region Inspector and select the desired Flex and Follow mode, usually on. This setting would then be applied to any new recorded or imported regions, ensuring that they conform to project tempo. Alternatively, you could take a more direct approach and set this as default behavior in the Smart Tempo project settings. There, at the top, you can set the default Smart Tempo mode for projects that start with this template. If you're planning to use Smart Tempo extensively, then Adapt, or maybe better, Auto mode would be the best choice. If you only expect to use those features on rare occasions, then obviously Keep mode would be the one to select. Assuming your project will be run in Adapt or Auto mode, then the two Flex and Follow settings at the bottom can be set to On, or one of the other active options. This will tell Logic to automatically analyze all audio files and ensure that regions will conform to project tempo automatically when appropriate. So, for example, with the Flex and Follow default set to On and Auto Mode enabled, whenever a region is imported, it's automatically analyzed to determine its embedded tempo and detect the implied bars and beats, and if it's imported to a part of the arrangement that already has a tempo reference, you'll also see Flex come on for the track, if it isn't on already, and the region will be flexed to conform to the existing project tempo in that part of the arrangement. Now, at times, when editing and dragging things around, you might still have to occasionally enable Flex and Flex and Follow by hand for a track and region, but most of the time it all happens automatically behind the scenes. As you noticed, there are actually four options for the Flex and Follow function. Besides the obvious on and off, there are two additional choices. On plus aligned bars, and on plus aligned bars and beats. With the basic on option, when conforming a region originally recorded at a different tempo than the existing project tempo map, Smart Tempo will make sure the appropriate points in the audio match the timing of the tempo events, but it won't alter the timing within those sections. So if a performance is a little loose, it may end up in time with the project tempo, but still a little off in places. The other two options force Logic to conform the regions more tightly. On plus Align Bars matches the timing of every bar in the audio region to the corresponding downbeat in the project tempo. And On plus Align Bars and Beats goes further, matching every beat in the audio region to the corresponding beat in the project tempo. In both cases, this means that more flexing will be done, if needed, to tighten up the internal timing of the audio region to match project tempo. This is, in effect, a degree of audio quantization, though not of every note, as with more typical applications of quantization, which could still be applied with the quantization menu just above. In fact, if either of those flex and follow options is chosen, you'll see the corresponding audio quantization value is grayed out in that quantization menu, whole note for on plus align bars, and quarter note for on plus align bars and beats, indicating that that level of quantization has already been applied to the region. There's one more option for each of the Flex and Follow defaults in the Smart Tempo Project Settings window. Trim Start of New Regions. When this is on, Logic will automatically locate the downbeat of the audio file as it analyzes it, and trim any dead space at the beginning of the region, making it start exactly at the detected downbeat. Logic has always been a little finicky, many DAWs are, 
about dead space when performing tempo analysis, and Apple has traditionally recommended trimming a region manually before analyzing it and using it as a tempo reference. So if you find that smart tempo frequently has issues with the analysis of some audio, enabling this option might help. Remember, trimming a region is non-destructive, so you can always recover the trimmed section if necessary. For the next several videos, I'm going to look at the smart tempo modes and the flex and follow function in action, recording, importing, and editing some audio, so we can see how it all works in actual use.